Hello and welcome to Pickleball Den Club Membership. If your club uh, processes payments for your club membership, if you charge a fee, say yearly, for your club membership, that's what this video will be going over. Uh, before your club can begin accepting payments through Pickleball Den, you would need to contact us and we will set up your club to ex uh, accept payments. And the three types of payments that you can activate is the cash payment, check payment, and also credit card via PayPal. So those are the three types of payments we can set up for you. Uh, what I'm going to do is go through a cash payment. We're a small club, uh, don't really want to get involved in credit cards. So as I see the members, uh, they would pay me the membership dues. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, the first thing that you would notice is uh, once the club membership dues are set up for your club, you will see another option called membership dues. Now, if your club accepted credit cards, uh, your members would also see make payment and that will allow them to pay their membership dues on their own through the credit card and it will update their uh, account that they're active. So, but we're gonna stay with a uh, cash payment here. So we're gonna go ahead and press on mem membership dues. And in this video, or excuse me, in this section, this allows us to manage our membership dues. So uh, since I'm selecting, uh, since I'm accepting a payment on behalf of a, of a player, the first thing I'm gonna do is search by name and I'm going to type the first couple letters of the name. And uh, uh, we see a couple Yakabuchis here. Uh, uh, we see that Jake has paid up until December 31st of 2019. So let's go with Jake here that he's paid his 2020 due 2020 dues and we want to process that so uh, let's go into make a payment and uh, we can select the three different types I've, I've enabled PayPal we're not going to use that one uh, but we're going to keep it as cash and then uh, what you do is uh, at the bottom here the uh, yearly membership is already selected for you so nothing to do there the price uh, that's the what you would set as a when we set it up for you you would tell us what the price is so that does not change there's the customer name, and then you can select the membership year. Uh, what we what we allow is the previous year, current year, and then the following year. So that way, if people want to pay their next year dues ahead of time, you can also process those. But we're going to leave it as 2020, okay? And uh, we're going to add that to the cart, okay? Now, if we come up here, we see that that fee was added. And also, we see a payment date. And we could change that, you know, if they were paying last year's uh 2019 dues I would just simply change the date to when that payment was made if we're if we're going back in history and entering data but we're going to leave that alone and go ahead and press pay now and what it does is it prints off or it doesn't print it off it shows you a receipt that you can print off if you want but it just verifies the payment options that you have selected and the payment was posted to Jake's account and then Jake also will see a receipt in his account uh, for this for this payment. So if we go back to return to favorites and then we go to the uh, membership dues, search by name, Yakabuchi. And again, this is for what you're looking at now is for club members own, or excuse me, club managers only. But we see now that Jake's membership was updated to 2020. And I can also take a look at his payment history. If I just clicked on that, I can see the payments that he's made in the past. Okay, now the other thing I can do is at the top, now I don't have a lot of payments uh, entered into the system here, but if I want to see all payments across all different club members, I just go ahead and say show all payments, and it would go through and show you all the payments that were made to your club. I can also go in and look for expired memberships. If I go ahead and click on that, this shows me all the members that uh, have not paid yet. So that's a nice way to find out all the current expired members. And then, of course, I can say show all members and so on and so forth. But that's pretty much it for uh, making payments. Your club uh, m club memberships, they can log on. Uh, for example, if I go under my account, okay, you'll see my payment history here. If I click on that, it shows me payments that I have made throughout the system. Now, this is for a tournament that I attended. So those are showing uh, on the receipt uh, as part of my payment history. So if I had paid for club memberships, they would be listed here as well. So that's all that there is to uh, club memberships. Uh, hope to hope to hear from you and, and setting up the club membership dues for your club. Thank you for listening.